Hello and welcome to another edition of Another Book Review. This week I'll be reviewing Edgar Cantero's novel, Meddling Kids. I'll talk a little bit about the author, go into what I liked about the book, what I didn't like about the book, who I'd recommend the book to, and finish off by talking about what I'll be reading next time. Edgar Cantero is a Spanish horror novelist. This is his second novel. Uh, both of this and his previous novel have been really well received. I have only read this novel, Meddling Kids. I have not yet read his previous novel, though it looks interesting. Uh, this book, Meddling Kids, is about a group of friends who were, in their youth, uh, child detectives. So if you can imagine Nancy Drew and the Hardy Boys, or really the, the, the touch point that everybody's going to talk about is Scooby-Doo, because there's four of these children and a dog. So that's kind of the clearest for American audiences uh, comparison. So the novel is basically about when they were children, they were this, they were a group of children detectives. They would solve kind of similar crimes to in the vein of Scooby-Doo. Uh, their last and final case, they believe they have solved it. And then the novel kind of jumps 13 years into the future. And you see these characters now as young adults. And they're all kind of... Uh, Broken is maybe too strong of a word, but they all have real struggles and problems in, in their personal and professional lives, and they realize uh, through some machinations that the case wasn't quite solved. The last case they went on was not quite solved, so they now have to go back and resolve, quote unquote, the case. So um, that's just a really brief, broad overview of the book. Um, Tonally, the book is kind of somewhere between Scooby-Doo and It, which is another, for me, another touch point because it's, the book is kind of split into two different, uh, the idea of children, of children solving a mystery and then getting together years later to go back and resolve that first mystery, very, very similar to, to It, even though this book is probably not as, uh, it's not quite as serious as that, I think. There, while this is a horror novel, there's definitely elements of humor kind of thrown in, and it doesn't take itself that seriously. Uh, you realize that there are definitely characters who are in peril, but it doesn't get to the point where uh, you're concerned about violent deaths and things of that nature. So that was kind of one of the things that I liked about the book is it doesn't take itself way too seriously. Uh, there are some really fun action sequences throughout the novel. Uh, there is a romantic subplot throughout the novel that I think is actually held, handled relatively realistically, and I think that that uh, was well written. Some of the things that I didn't care for as much, the plot is kind of unnecessarily convoluted. Um, there are, at the end specifically, the last, the book kind of ends on a note, a kind of a strange note, um, kind of goes back and explains something that didn't necessarily need to be explained. I think that last part could have been handled to, could have been used to handle other kind of unresolved threads of the novel or other parts of the novel that didn't get as much care. Uh, there's some strange word choices, which I, after I read this, I, I went back and realized and did some research and realized that Edgar Quintero is a Spanish writer. So there may be translational issues. It's not really anything that's going to distract you from enjoying the novel, but there were some strange word choices I found in, in the book. Um, so that is, that's meddling kids. I think it was fun. I think it's a fun novel. Uh, if you're a fan of, um, it actually has quite a bit of, if you're a fan of the Cthulhu myth, mythos or mythos, you'll definitely find things in this book to enjoy. If the idea of kind of Scooby-Doo meets Cthulhu is something that, uh, you think you'd be interested in. I think this is actually probably the, the perfect book for you. Um, but I, I think it kind of handled kind of on the, the lighter, superficial things. I think it handled those things really well. Some of the themes, the stronger themes in the novel as far as uh, how your hopes and your dreams as a child affect who you are as an adult and how kind of experiences when you're younger formulate who you will be. I think that isn't as isn't as uh, surface as some of the other stuff, but that theme is definitely there. And I think all the characters in the novel struggle with that in one way or the other. Um, the book resolves, I don't want to give too many spoilers, but I think the book does a good job of uh, 
taking that seriously and not kind of dismissing that, which is like a real thing that people go through. So I think that's handled well. Uh, like I said, I think this is overall kind of a fun novel. I don't think it's anything that necessarily is going to be life-changing. I read this, and I think, in two or three days, so it's a relatively quick read. It's a fun read. There are things that are sprinkled throughout it, the bits of humor that I liked a lot. Um, like I said before, I think that there are – the plot itself is a little convoluted and kind of doesn't uh, – sometimes I feel like it's zigging and zagging for its own sake rather than for the sake of the story. Um, so that was a little off-putting. Nothing major, but there are just some things, like I said, especially at the end. But I would recommend this. I don't know if I would recommend this to high school students. It's maybe a little bit uh, too – there definitely is blood and gore in the novel, and there's definitely language in the novel. So, again, it's probably one of those books where I would – if anybody came to you and, and would, was, wanted you to recommend the book for that age level, you may want to read it. It's a relatively quick read. Uh, there's going to be uh, – like I said, there is – a romantic relationship in the novel, and it is um, not exactly, it's not graphic, it's not explicit with that, but that may be something that you would want to read to see if it's appropriate for the person or people who have asked to read the book. So that's my take on meddling kids. Uh, next time I'm going to be reading Gene Thompson's short story collection, The Witch. And until next time, please feel free to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Uh, I'll have my Twitter link below in the notes in the comments. Uh, please feel free to follow me on Twitter. Until next time, bye.